Hi, it's Jen with opensource.com, bringing you my top five articles from this past week, September 8th through the 12th. Our content focused a lot on open education this past week, so you'll see that show a lot, show up a lot in my top five. Let's get started. Number five is three Drupal education distributions reviewed by Joshua Holm. He covers Julio, Open Academy, and Epigneo LMS. So if you're looking for a new tool, check out his article. At number four, Why Pay for a Degree These Days by Jody Biddle. She talks about open education and takes a deeper look into MOOCs and what they have to offer higher education. At number three, Free Courses for Getting Started in the Open Source Cloud. Jason Baker shares 10 of his top picks for free educational courses when you want to learn about the Open Source Cloud. At number two, we have Phil Shapiro's The Personality of a Linux-Loving Teen. Phil shares his experiences working in a public library with students. At number one, we have Charlie Reisinger's Students Power This Open Source High School. He writes about the Linux project high school kids are working on at Penn Manor High in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, where Charlie is the IT director for the Penn Manor School District. He tells us that on any given day, you might observe their help desk apprentices answering questions from students and staff, repairing a damaged laptop screen, experimenting with code, or diving into the Linux configuration files. So, truly hands-on, and thanks to the accessibility of Linux. This week, I have an honorable mention for you. We have a poll on the site called, What Color Is Your Terminal Background? We have almost 2,500 votes, and 75% of people are saying their terminal background color is a dark color. We have 11% saying transparent and 10% saying light. So if you'd like to go vote in our poll, please do so on the site. And you can find all of these article links in the notes below. And I hope to see you next week. Thanks for joining.